Hey guys! So finally, I'm going to react today on Dimash. So I don't know what to say, I'm just stressed and I'm anxious and I don't know how my reaction will go. So like, I'm going to tell you why did I choose this song, SOS d'un terrien en détresse. It's a French song for Daniel Balavoine and I already know it, and I already know the, the range of the song, so I kind of have an idea of the song. That's why I wanted to listen to Dimash, how he's going to cover the song, uh, because I've listened to a lot of people and a lot of professional singers covering this song, and it's a really hard song. And till now, my favorite cover is for Grégory Le Marchal. He's uh, one of uh, Star Academy friends uh, winner, but he passed away after winning like after one or two years of winning the the star academy i'm so excited to listen to the song by dimash and let's go Whew. should i press play oh my god let's go <笑>我觉得好帅哦上镜我觉得有点灵智炫啊 
Okay, so now I do understand why you kept an insisting on listening to Dimash. I mean, this is a very hard song, but with him, it didn't seem so hard at all. And he sang it like it's his own. He sang it. I mean, I cannot say anything about him. He, he's something else. I was like so shocked, man, no way. Wow, I cannot say anything. I just want to talk about some different things, but like, I'm still in shock. Like he, he really shocked me. I'm like, I'm numb or something, I don't know. Oh, I, I just wanna listen to him again and again and again. I don't know, I feel like I want to go and buy the most expensive ticket of his concert and just go and watch him live that's what i want right now <laughs> like he's not dmash he is the dismash like he smashed it he, he smashed every single note everything i mean what a voice what a voice wow those notes the lows and the highs I mean, I'm going to talk about his range, but I'm still in shock. Like, what did you guys do to me? Okay, let me remember what I wanted to say. Okay, so first, I wanted to talk about his pronunciation. It was so cute, especially that he's not French, and he was singing in French. So he was saying, Pourquoi je vis? And it's actually, in French, we don't pronounce the, the S. It's like a muted S. So, pourquoi je vis? I loved and I really respect how he sang it. I know that sometimes he was like not singing the words correctly. And that's totally normal. I mean, he's already doing a huge, amazing thing that he's singing a French song that it's not even his language first. Second, even if it's not his language, the feelings that he's giving, I mean, he has the feelings. He is full of emotions. And I know the song is so emotional, but his voice is so emotional. It felt like this song was written for Dimash. It was written for Dimash. I mean, Daniel Balavoine, when he sang it, like after a while he died. And Grégory Le Marchal, after he sang it, he died. And now it's like, this song, it's like, it belongs to Dimash. And this is his song. This is what I believe and this is what I feel, especially what I heard. He put every singer and everyone in his little pocket with this song. And I cannot imagine someone who can sing this song better than him, honestly. Other than that, if you listen to the original song, it has a wide range, but it's not this wide. He sang it his way. He added a lot of his uh, style in it. And man, those notes, I mean, Dimash, Dimash is, is an instrument. <laughs> he is an instrument that only him can play this instrument because he knows how to master this instrument. Wow. I know that his mom is also a singer and he was very encouraged since he was a kid from his grandparents, his parents. And I want to say something that when young singers are encouraged by their parents and they pay a lot of attention to their talent, this is the result. This is the result. That's why it's really important if you have a kid that you feel that they have a talent, not, not necessarily in singing, maybe in uh, basketball, maybe in football, in, in sports, maybe in uh, drawing, maybe in, uh, I don't know, other than singing, maybe playing an instrument. Please, 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 if you are a parent, please encourage them because they might be the next Dimash. You never know. You never know. I mean, Imagine if the parents of Dimash did not encourage him, did not work on him since he was a child. 
and there are a lot of kids, other Dimash, other Dimashes, that no one is encouraging them. And I'm serious about it. I mean, he is being di discovered, but a lot of other singers are not discovered yet. That's why, please, 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 it's really important to encourage other with their talents because you don't know how far they can go. And I think Dimash's parents were watching. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to watch the song again and I'm going to pause during the video just to tell you my feedback as a vocal coach about his voice on the song. Remember, this is the first time I listened to Dimash, so I don't know how he sings other songs. So you have to know that I'm talking about him as someone who's listening for the first time. And I don't know what he's also capable of. Okay, so let's go. Uh, I think those are his parents. I'm not sure, but it seems like it. And they're, they're pretty cool. That look, he has confidence. It's really good how you appear on stage. The posture, the look, everything. It's either attracts someone to look at you or they don't. And here Dimash knows how to be present. He swallowed the pu, so it went quoi. I would have preferred if he said like pourquoi je vis, not pourquoi. I would have accented more on the p, the pourquoi. At first, he really reminded me of Grégory Le Marchal. His type of voice at first, while he was singing that, it really reminded me of Grégory. Here, it's way better. He said pourquoi. Okay, and maybe this is his way to do it. I'm not saying it's wrong at all, but I'm talking as someone who who would like to accent the words while they are saying them. Who cares about the lyrics when he has such a voice? Did you guys realize what he just did? Like he removed the earpiece one of the earpieces and actually singers put them on just so they can hear clearly the, the music while uh, people are screaming singers cannot hear themselves while singing and also they provide the direct sound of the song it also protects their hearing so uh, what i'm saying right now that he removed it like he's he's something else usually they don't remove it they keep it so they can hear themselves I think Dimash, if he goes, hopefully not, but if Dimash goes one day deaf, he would sing as he's singing right now. Do you know why? Because he listens to himself without listening to himself. What I'm telling you is that he doesn't hear himself from his uh, earpieces. He's hearing himself from the inside, in his head. And I think that means that Dimash has an absolute hearing. An absolute hearing means that if you play any note to this singer or to this person, they will note which note is this. And that's because it's in their head, it's in their mind, they know it, it's in their ear already. So he doesn't even need earpieces or in-ear monitors. I'm going to repeat it just so you can see. I'm still talking about the pronunciation. I cannot judge him anyway because I need to hear him sing in other languages because this is a French song. Maybe he doesn't do that when it's an English song or a song in, in any other language. And I know that he, he sang in like 15 languages and this is like huge. I mean, wow, amazing. But 
I'm telling you as a vocal coach what I think about it. I'm not talking about his voice. I'm talking about his pronunciation. But that's totally fine. I mean, his voice, his pronunciation, it's way higher. So we shouldn't even look at it. I love how he's using his fingers. Like he's seeing the notes in front of him and he's like singing them and reaching them perfectly. He, he's like playing the instrument, which is his vocal cords with his hand, you know? And he's closing his eyes because he has to see, to, to imagine those notes in front of him. Here he should have said, and he said, yeah, he he mixed the words. It's okay, it's okay. Totally fine. So beautiful. And I wanted him to do it, not making a transition note between the low and the high, because he used three notes to go. Like, I'm going to play it on the piano on my cell phone, because I'm not going to the piano over there and come back. So let's do this. So he went from B to E and then he hit the F sharp, okay? I wanted him to hit the B and then the F sharp without hitting the E. Listen again. Now I'm going to let you hear it. It's this note. Okay? I wanted him to do this. I love, I love his voice. He's, he's like feeling the song. The song is really sad and it's like he's in pain. Though I don't know if he's understanding what he's saying, but it, it feels like he does because we have like subtitles of the song. But I mean like, wow. This is Dimash singing here because this transition that he did right now at the end of the music, this is not in the song. He put a little bit of his style in it and it's so beautiful because his voice is so resonating. Beautiful. He's using his chest voice right now. I cannot say anything about him. What is this note? I mean, this is a C6 that he just sang. Wow. And with, with full power. Wow, wow, wow. Usually the sopranos reach C6. C, it means Do. I'm going to go a little bit in music and the music theory just so you know what i'm talking about okay so you have like seven notes in music you have do re mi fa so la ti okay but in english we say a b c d f g but the a is not the do okay it's the la so the do if you go la si do or la ti do so a b c Okay, so the C is the DO. So we go C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Here he reached the DO and it's like the C6. And I'm telling you, this range is for the sopranos. And keep holding on on this note. I mean, hats off. I, I cannot say, he's a master. I cannot say anything about him. Who am I to talk about Dimash anyway? So here... In this note, he was reaching the uh, B2. So, so beautiful. His breathing is so good. I mean, wow. I really want to watch him live. And not on YouTube. I mean, respect to YouTube. But I just want to 
to buy a ticket and go watch him wherever he is right now. What? I love that he's using the vibrato. Wow. Man, he's, he's reaching an E. Like after the C, he reached the C sharp, the D and the E. Like Do, Re, Mi. What? You can see now the pourquoi, we can hear it. It's way better than the first time. I like that. They're saying pourquoi je pleure. It means why am I crying? And this guy is crying. It's so good. I love how he's going falsetto and he's going with his uh, with his powerful voice, like in his chest voice. Wow, he's using all kind of voices in this only one song. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite part because here we can see the potential of Dimash as a voice. It's powerful. I mean, we have a lot of singers that they can sing with the falsetto or the head voice or whatever. But like with this power in their voice, I mean, he smashed them. Dismash. I'm gonna call him from now on Dismash. I mean, he's using the same range but with his powerful voice, with his chest voice. That's a G, that's a G with... Wow, oh my God. What is he doing? What a vocal range. That was so good. What a D smash. I mean, guys, I'm really sorry if I talked about his pronunciation. I don't want you to take it wrong. I'm in love with him. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dream about his voice tonight. I mean, I'm in love with his voice, not with him. The octaves that he's, he's reaching, the range that he has, the notes that he sings, I mean, who am I to talk about him? I, I'm nothing. I am nothing. I am a vocal coach, but I, I'm nothing. I am nothing in front of this person. Like, I, can, I cannot talk about him anymore. Thank you so much. I hope you liked my reaction. And I hope you're not upset with me, with anything I've said. And please let me know if you want me to hear anything else for D Smash. I know it's D Smash, but... From now on, I'm calling him D Smash because he's smashing and he's the smash. So I love you guys so much for letting me hear him. Please subscribe and like if you like my video and let me know what I should hear next. Bye.